volleyball has been such an important aspect of my life and I had to contemplate for a little while like if it was actually going to be taken away from me. It was a possibility Melanie Crow had to face. I was like on a high I thought in my career and I was going in and could not be more confident in all aspects of my game. But all of that changed last season in the blink of an eye. Playing for Ole Miss as a junior, Crow took a blow to the head during practice. I ended up going up and hitting a ball and getting blocked and it came back and hit me in the face but I like whiplash back and so I knew I had a concussion I wasn't really that concerned and then I ended up going back in a week and a half or so after that and got hit again. Just like that Crow season was swallowed up by the frightening uncertainty of concussions. I think the emotional toll that something like an injury that you can't see and an injury that you can't control I didn't know how to deal with that to be honest. Whether it's a, you know, an ACL, um, concussion, shoulder thing, you know, often what you see with athletes is, is there's kind of a period of time when you, when you have to mentally kind of push through uh, the kind of the post-injury type stuff. And a lot of it's psychological and it's a very real thing. Despite being cleared by multiple doctors, trainers at Ole Miss wouldn't let Crow play. She never suited up for the Rebels again. So the St. Louis area native set her sights on a homecoming. When I was deciding to transfer, the only I called Coach Kreklo and I was like, I only want to go to Mizzou. I'm not looking anywhere else because I know that that's going to be home. With her dream now a reality, Crow is settling in at Mizzou nicely with three double doubles in her first four matches as a Tiger and throw in a 2020 match against Ohio, just the 20th in program history. Melanie's been really huge for us. We've been really, really pleased with Melanie. Crow is healthy and happy. It's real satisfying from a coaching standpoint whenever you see that. You know, hopefully she'll stay healthy. Honestly, for like my mo emotional and physical like health, this was the best move for me. Um, because I think if I would have stayed there, I don't think that I would have been able to move forward like I can here. With two years of eligibility remaining, she has plenty to look forward to. For the Mizzou Network, I'm Lauren Holman.